Hello, welcome to another Golden Throne painting guide. This time we are tackling the metal trim on a Chaos Space Marine. Uh, specifically, this is the second video in the Painting a Word Bearer series that we're doing. The paints we're using this week is Null Nile, uh, Iron Warriors, Lead Belcher and Stormhost Silver. Yeah, the first paint we're going to be starting with is Iron Warriors. This is a dark metal paint, um, and basically it's it's even darker than Lead Belcher. Um, I use this because I quite like my Chaos Beast Marines to have you know a dark paint scheme, so as opposed to a bright one. Uh, um, Lead Belcher is fine if that's what you want to use, um, but we will be highlighting up with Lead Belcher. I just like having a, a darker metal base. Just a quick note on the silvers, and being completely honest, I tend to use uh, some slightly different paint. Uh, you can use the Games Workshop ones, the Certainel ones, they're fine. Uh, so the, the, the three I would suggest is um, Black Metal, for a really, really dark metal, uh, Gun Grey, and for the very, very bright highlight is Steel. Um, they just tend to be, there's just more pigment in them so you can actually control the paint much better than you can do with the Citadel equivalents. There's nothing wrong with the Citadel ones, it just takes a little bit more work uh, and that's just a personal opinion. Uh, unlike with the the red, the initial red uh, we did last time, uh, try to be as neat as you can with this. Uh, it's quite tricky the metal trim on a, a Chaos Space Marine. Um, sometimes as well it blends in, um, where the, the the plastic moulding process hasn't been able to distinguish too much between the shin pad and the actual metal trim. So you're gonna have to make a, a judgment call on where it starts and where it ends. But just try and be as neat as you can. Uh, you can tidy it up later on, but um, we don't really make any work for ourselves. Okay, that's the uh, first coat of the silver done. We are going to do two coats uh, of thin down paint. Uh, as with last time, it's 50% water, 50% uh, paint. Uh, don't worry if it doesn't go on a little bit too thin. We're going to do a couple of coats uh, just to make sure that it's covering uh, over the black. Uh, 
Uh, as we last time, we're going to go over the other parts of the body as well. So we've uh, finished the body, we're now going to go over the, uh, the shoulder part and the arm. Um, as mentioned last time, uh, we have left out the gun arm, and the gun, the bolt gun. Uh, and what we're going to do at the end of this series, we're going to do uh, paint the arm using all the different techniques and so on and so forth that we've gone through um, in these videos. Next step is the backpack. Again, try and be as neat as you can. Um, you'll notice we're missing out some of the parts that you think could be metallic, and that's because I'm going to mix it up with a sort of damaged, beaten, bronzy, coppery effect. Um, it just makes sure that not everything that is metal on the model is going to be silver. Uh, it just breaks up the colours a little bit. Uh, but we'll do that, I think that's next week's video, so I'll be showing that next week. Uh, finally, we'll do the head. Um, uh, I mentioned this quite a lot last week, uh, but just to reiterate again, um, you, you'll want to spend some time on the head. It's the focal point of the miniature. Um, uh, I'm just showing you the, you know, the steps I take when I'm bulk painting these models, uh, but I, I end up returning to the head to cover it in detail a little bit more. Um, but again, that's in a, another video, slightly further on down the line. Uh, next up is Null Noil. Um, when it comes to Null Noil, normally if you're painting a miniature, like a single miniature, um, you'd probably spend a bit more time being quite careful with where you're putting the, the Null Noil. Uh, but with this process, I, I just, um, you don't go mad, don't cover the whole model in Null Noil. But get a little bit on your brush, no need to water it down or anything like that, and just go over all the areas that you've painted as a silver metal trim. Um, Again, if you're going to be painting something that's a display model or something like a showcase model, a character, um, you'd probably want to be a bit more discerning. You, you want to, you know, do a couple of coats of the, the null noil and do it in the specific recesses that you want to see as silver. Um, 
but in this case just cover it in it. We're, we're not going crazy on this one, you're going to have to pay at least I don't know, another four of these guys for a squad and it can get a bit laborious. Uh, same again on the backpack, um, you can also use the the null noil to kind of tidy up um, parts where you think maybe you've gone over a little bit, uh, specifically the really small details where um, maybe some of the red's gone over. Um, but don't worry too much, especially with the null noil, you, you be careful with it, don't go crazy, but don't worry if you go over parts because it'll just add to the general shape and dirtiness of the kit of space where are. Finally, same thing again on the head. Um, you'll notice on this um, that a lot of the shading actually overpowers some of the highlights we did in the uh, previous video, uh, specifically the red highlights. Uh, but again, we are coming back to uh, do a proper job on the head in the later video. Uh, once that initial layer of null oil has dried, um, <clears throat> just to kind of add a bit more emphasis onto the, the studs on the metal rim, uh, I just go over those parts again uh, with a bit of null oil, uh, just to make sure that the uh, recesses around those areas are slightly darker than the ones uh, that you did, pre uh, the whole metal that you did previously.
Uh, next paint is lead belcher. Um, but you're going to use this to build up some of the edge highlights uh, on the silver, uh, just to build up a slightly sharper edge. Yeah, as with the highlights on the red armour, um, try and be as neat as you can. You're trying to just pick out the edges, uh, the studs. Um, you don't want to be getting rid of all of the shading you've put on there. You're just trying to pick out the, the details at the edges of the trim. Uh, on the little pointed arrows as well, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, don't, don't go nuts, but make sure there's some difference, some contrast between the darker silver and the lighter silver. Uh, once you finish the body, um, then move on to the next uh, area, so the helm, uh, the, the shoulder pad, and the backpack. Um, just make sure when you're doing this that the, uh, the null oil, the washes you've used, uh, have completely dried. The final highlight is going to be using Stormhose Silver. Um, as with last time, this is an edge highlight, uh, but you want to be using uh, much more spurringly. You're going for the very, very tips of the armour uh, on the top of the studs, uh, just to help bring out that contrast between the dark armour, the, the dark silver, 
and the brighter silver that you're painting now.
And then a final step is go back to your normal oil again. Um, so you will have um, made a couple of mistakes here and there. You maybe applied uh, some of the brighter silvers a bit too liberally. Uh, so just go around the studs again uh, and just go over uh, the areas that you think need a little bit more shading uh, just to make sure there's a nice bit of contrast uh, between the different types of silver on the, the rim. And there you go, that's it for this week. Um, uh, we've covered painting the metal trim for Wordbearers Chaos Space Marines. Um, we used Iron Warriors, Lead Belcher, Null Noil, and Stormhouse Silver. Uh, next week we'll be painting up the, the piping, so that's the between the, um, the wrists, the arms, um, uh, on the waist, and any other parts of the model that will be black. Um, it's fairly straightforward stuff, um, but that's it uh, from myself and producer Dave. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. 